Hello there guys, Alex Aycroft here. So, um, as you can probably read the title, this is a weight paint tutorial for Blender. Someone asked me the other day if I have any tutorials about this, and I do not. So I thought I would make one. And let's get to it, right? I'm gonna do first the basic cube weight, and then I'm gonna do one of my clothing um, weights, right? So let's get to it. I'm just gonna set my finger here, add a cube. So we've got a cube, right? Uh, it's not really gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna elongate it on the z-axis. Apply. And I'm gonna apply the location, rotation and scale. So I've got a cube so far. Right? And in order for weights to actually do anything, I'm gonna have to apply an armature. So let's see bone, bone, armature, single bone. And we're gonna add it here, make it a bit bigger. Right, edit mode, extrude, Z. Ah, four bones should be enough. I'm just gonna shrink this down a bit. Uh, when making an armature, you always want to have it x rayed so you can see where your bones are. And to do that, you select your armature your bones then you go to this uh, little man here hit x-ray as you can see you have a bunch of other stuff you can choose what type they are and so on i prefer the sticks personally okay and i'm just gonna move this into the center right that looks pretty much in the center all right um what you're gonna need now is to link these two together. So you're gonna wanna select your mesh, then select your bones, hit Ctrl P. You can either do empty groups or automatic or envelope weights. I prefer automatic. I can just uh, edit it a bit and show you guys what it's all about. And the moment we did that, our mesh got an armature modifier as well. All right, so let's see how this uh, this is moving. All right, as you can see, this is a uh, this is pretty bad. So we're gonna do some manual weight painting on it. Let's see the third bone. Okay, so the things you're gonna wanna use the most on here are add, blur, and subtract. I don't like light and dark and that's just my personal preferences. They pretty much do the same as those three, but those three do it those three do it exactly. Right? So we're just gonna go with some subtract and a bit bigger. And my thing doesn't have enough uh, bones on it in order to enough vertices on it in order to actually do anything to move otherwise so i'm just gonna add some vertices vertices control r excuse me actually i'm just gonna subdivide it once twice yeah that should be enough and then add a few of these four on each there we go As you can see, it's bending a bit better, right? But let's do it even better than this. Because I want, you always want uh, where your bones meet. You want it. Okay, so because um, I forgot to explain this, um, red means that that bone is gonna pull on your mesh hard, like as hard as it can. A weight, which is a weight value of one. Right, um, just right, and 
you've got cold and you've got cold and hot the colder it is the less your bone is gonna pull so if it goes to blue like this your bones probably not gonna pull on it at all as you can see here I'm also gonna add a subdivision modifier just for my personal preferences and I'm gonna, yeah that's fine as you can see it's it's moving fairly decent right but we want this to move to be fluent so I'm just gonna use the blur and I'm just gonna blur up here so it looks a bit nicer right and now we're gonna move to the other bones which they don't do not seem to have any weights at all I'm just gonna reduce my mesh here to a one plane mesh since I got the basics on it uh, G Y G X ah, that should be good right uh, back to weight painting and now I'm gonna add a bit of weight paint on here as you can see I'm keeping in within the bone and going a bit into the other bone just for the color range and then I'm gonna pick a blur and I'm gonna blur this out a bit now bone number one add a bit here as well and of course blur so it moves nicely depending on how you want your stuff to move that's how much you should blur and of course you don't want to blur so much that if you're making clothing or armor or something for a body uh, that it starts clipping through because blur what does blur do it basically picks up the color from one side and transfers it slowly to the other side so as you can see it's picking up this and moving it slowly towards the bluer side if I'm going from the bluer side towards this one it's gonna do the opposite right so this one is already weighted this one's the base and you can see this is ain't really sticking where it should so I'm just gonna add some more weight Right. and you've got to tinker with the weights until you got the the way you want it to look and work and that's about it right and you can see this looks pretty was pretty fluent there are no rugged edges right and you can what can you use this for well you can use to transform your mesh into letters uh, weird ass buildings stuff of the sorts uh, but that's one technique of doing it manually you can also if you have a rig which is basically a preset of weights on a different set of mesh for example a body uh, you can just select that body and then select your mesh that you've made and go to weight mode and then you can hit transfer weights and from here you're gonna select source layer and by name I don't know why by order it doesn't transfer all the weights but yeah so I just go I have to do this in order for it to transfer all the weights the new mesh and after you've done that you're pretty much done if you've got and you're gonna have to move the move your armature around a bit and stuff to see where it's gonna clip and whatnot and then uh, just add a few vertices a shift R a control wait uh, 
forgot. Uh, yeah, it's a control R. And add a few more vertices to see if it fixes the clipping. If you see that you're getting, if you're adding too many, if your mesh is becoming too complex in that region and you have too many vertices, uh, remove some of them and just go and edit the weight paint and move your mesh further away from the body or from the object so it doesn't clip through it. Uh, but yeah, let's get to a piece of clothing. Let's see. I'm just gonna use this one since it's already pretty much weighted and done. As you can see, this is a piece of dress. I'm just gonna remove all the weights from it. And I'm gonna remove these as well. This as well. Okay. So as you can see, I've got a dress here that doesn't have any weights on it, right? So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the rag, which is the body mesh. Then I'm going to select my mesh, transfer weights. As you can see, when you do that, it only transfers only one layer for some reason. Then when I do by name, it transfers, it transfers all the layers, right? And what I recommend you do, if you do not have Avastar, uh, press Z, go into wireframe mode and look at your mesh and make sure you can see most of the parts and then remove anything that does not have any weights on it. All right, so if it doesn't have weights on it, you do not, it's an empty group. It's going to cost you extra to upload with it. It's going to get confusing. You don't need it. You don't want it. Just remove it. You only want to have the weight groups that actually interact with your mesh. It's easier to edit, easier to do the weight painting and, and so on. Right. All right. And I remember that this mesh had an issue with the breast area. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, as you can see, the breasts are popping, poking through it. Right. So the issue here is that this bone underneath the torso bone is pulling too much on the lower half here. So I'm just going to reset it with shift R. I'm going to go to torso. I'm going to select subs subtract and I'm going to remove a bit of from this area. Shift R, that's it. Okay, so I need to remove a bit more. And there we go. There's no more clipping through. Uh, now for the legs. Shift R. I made this pretty far away from the body, so I don't think that the legs are going to clip through anywhere. But as you can see, the mesh is really jagged here. So we're going to use the blur tool. We're going to go on the upper leg. And just smooth that out a bit. And then the pelvis. You just want to make sure that it's not really, really jagged when it's uh, someone's using it. As you can see, we have a pretty fair amount. Uh, I'd say that looks pretty decent because no one's going to have their legs go all the way up here. I don't think there are any AOs or stuff. Oh, there's a bit of clipping over here. So I'm going to use the subtract tool and lower the strength weight it depends on how hard you want it uh, here for these usually i use either somewhere around one uh free or full maximum full one so i go with either 0 0.1 0 0.3 or full one on those so as you can see this is working fine if your mesh is, if you're making a mesh that's that can be mirrored, 
I would recommend you do not apply the mirror modifier until the end for this as it will help you mirror your weights from one side to the other and also recommend putting the mirror modifier above the armature modifier why because if you do you're gonna get this right and this side is gonna stay there and if you don't the other side is gonna go to that side as well so it's basically gonna mirror it so that was about it for this tutorial on way painting in blender I hope this helps you guys. If you have got questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd appreciate a like, a share, and maybe a subscribe from you. And I'll see you guys next time.